Okay, well, I am starting to put it back together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I got the rear end put back in pretty much. Uh, got brake lines to do, but uh, I wanted to get the uh, new disc brakes mounted. So first thing uh, it tells you to check is uh, make sure that the rotor fits up against the housing just right and that looks pretty good there but uh, you turn it around and you can see it's still not quite flush here it's got a little bit of gap so I got a little bit of grinding to uh, get done so that fits flush up against there so uh, I'll work on that and get this cleaned up, then I'll do the other side, make sure the rotors fit good before I proceed to the next step. Okay, well, after doing some little bit of cleanup and grinding on that, that turned out pretty good. It fits, fits tight all the way around. So, it should be good. So, flip it around the right way, and... Looks like it's sitting on there good, so. Okay, step number one, there. Okay, well, I've got that all ground down good enough to uh, get the uh, rotor on it, so uh, next step's gonna be to get the dust shield on it. I went ahead and notched right here since I'm not uh, planning on pulling the axle back out. And that should give me clearance to let it slide right over and put that on. So then I can put the bolts through it and put the bracket on there uh, for the caliper. So that's how I did that. And uh, I've already measured it out. Uh, there's a shim piece here before you put your bracket on. That needs to be measured out because the bracket fits just about like that. But... I've already calculated it and uh, did the other side and really no shim is needed. It lines up pretty good and I'll show you that here in a second. So I'll go ahead and get this bolted on and set the caliper on it and show you how all that fits. That should be right. I'm gonna go ahead and get these bolted on. Those are pretty tight. Those have lock nuts on them and boy, I don't think they're ever gonna come off there. Okay. Okay, slide the rotor on. Looks good there. 
got lug nuts and kind of get them on there just to make it tight on there so it lines up right. Okay, looks good there. Okay, let's see if we can mount the caliper. Get it on there. Okay, let's see here. Okay. You can see here that uh, I marked the center of it. So this is right about where the caliper needs to set because as you turn the rotor, it, it's perfectly in the center of that. So there's equal pressure on the sides from the piston. So that should be centered up perfectly. So this is emergency brake lever and once you push it it uh, senses it up so yep it looks like it's just about right so I like it it doesn't drag on it and then I'll get the other pieces hooked to that okay so emergency brake cable just push for that little slot there and it doesn't matter which end of the connector you use because they're both the same uh, and this just comes through for the attaching point there um, It says no uh, clip is needed, but they send a couple so I'm gonna go ahead and put a clip in there and get that wedged in there that the spring will go on top of it It won't go nowhere. So uh, I'll go ahead and get that on there Okay, so figured out on the other side that uh, it's actually much easier to get this threaded through here because once you get the spring hooked to this tab right here at least very little room to get the uh, end of this through there so this here just basically pushes back in place with a little extra force there and just bend that down right there to get that in and there we go Okay, so there's your emergency brake cable in, and then it's just a matter of, there's a fitting down here for the brake line, and I'll get that put on. It's a banjo fitting, so once I get that hooked on there, then there's a uh, a couple places I'm going to have to weld some tabs onto in order to make this uh, solid, so we'll get that on there next. Okay, so the banjo fitting basically has a hole here to where this slides into here, and the hole is in here to where that runs through the other end. So 
Put a washer there and a washer here. And that's where it comes through the fitting. And then just a matter of bolting it on, getting it tight and getting it to lay where I want it to lay here around the shock. Okay. Now there's a pre-existing clip here. I'm not sure I'll be able to use that. I'll have to see if that'll work or not. But if it doesn't, I won't have to use it, but See if that does fit it. That may help. But the other fitting is right where I'm going to have to weld that bracket, so that'll have to come off. So this has to come over here, and I've got to weld a bracket right where that other one is. And uh, then I can get both sides done. But uh, that's basically how this is going to set. I may not end up using that clip. That kind of puts it in a little bind, so I may just let that set over here a little closer so I'll do some welding and uh, that'll be my next step okay well these are the brackets that uh, have to be mounted welded to the axle so it just sets up a little bit too tall so I cut cut them down I'll do cut them both down about the same but that's that's a little more what I'm looking for you know, about that height so I'll get the other one cut and then get those welded on a little paint on it and be ready to do some other adjustments for the plumbing okay well we've got the brackets welded on painted cleaned up it's ready for the line to fit now so put my clip on there and that should be good uh, I'll tor tighten it all up and then I can finish getting the rest of the connections made for that. So we'll get all that taken care of next. Okay, so in order to get this uh, brake line back on here, uh, since we've added the caliper, uh, the existing brake line won't work. So I'll reuse as much of it as I can, and I'll get a mark on this one here, get it cut to here. Put a flare on it and a fitting and see if I can make it match what I did over here. Uh, that'll complete the back end and I'll be ready to go to the front. Okay, I got the piece cut down. Should fit like that. Should be good. Uh, had to make sure and get that flare done just right. Looks, looks factory if you ask me. But uh, I'll go ahead and get this put on here. I gotta have one of these little special wrenches just for tubing, uh, just to make sure that you don't round off the corners and trying to get get it tight. Perfect little tool for that.
Okay. Can't bleed the brakes until I get it all back together and get the master cylinder on there. So for now, everything's tight, everything's on. Um, looks like a complete rear end again, so I'm happy with the way that turned out. Brake line's intact, caliper's on, emergency brake attack. And rear end looks good. Okay, well, I'm down to putting the front end back together. I've got the uh, upper and lower A arms bolted on. Um, went in and set it up with the same shims that were originally on the car since that was kind of the factory setup. So uh, it's good enough to get it all back together and get it lined up and do it take it to the alignment shop at that point but everything else is uh, ready to go um, new ball joints and see if I can get the spring in this one I did the other one and it fought me quite a bit so hopefully I've learned and can get this other one in uh, a little easier so see how that uh, turns out so I'll get started on it Okay, so the bottom A arm's got the spot right here, which is where the bottom of the spring will sit. The top of the spring is actually flat, and it goes up and fits inside there. I don't know if that shows it or not, but uh, so that's what I'm trying to get lined up. Um, takes a little bit of pushing and prying to get it in there, but uh, we'll give it a go. rod down in here that way it keeps it from popping out on me and that just kind of gives me a little safety there to make sure it doesn't pop out but once I get it in this far then I can get that jammed in there. and that's about where that's gonna go so that looks good there I think that looks good there. And... Nope. Did not get the front in there, so that's not right. That's why I have safety bars in there.
Okay, I had to get a little extra tension on it with the uh, jack here to kind of give that little extra support. Now I can put pressure on it just enough to get my rod in there. Okay, now I can do that. Okay, we'll try and fit the spindle on here now. Get a nut on here. Get that started. Got a cameraman now. Yep. Temporary. Nick and Harlow came by. Have a cotter pin on it? Yep. It does? Mm. I'm missing the cotter pin. Okay. Uh, I need a 15 16 wrench. Harlow, would you grab that? It's laying on the ground. Right over there. Fifteen sixteenths. <laughs> the big one? Yep, the biggest one. Thank you, girl. <clears throat> a major step getting the springs back on it. Because they fought me fought quite a bit. Next up, rolling chassis. Got to get the front calipers on. Brake lines ran for it. 
stick some wheels on it, and then it's a rolling chassis. <laughs> Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to uh, get this uh, dust cover on like that and mount the bracket here. the steering arm. Okay, so now the caliper gets mounted, the rotor's on there, spins nice and smooth, no sounds. Let me get this on here. Oops, I have to turn that around.
tight fit. Scratching the paint off. But lines up good, looks good. up the banjo fitting. Oh, that a little tight. Okay, so I got the banjo clip on there, tightened up, and fitting on there. Ready to hook up the other line to it. Um, bleeder valve on top. Rotor spins good. So let me see if I can get the rest of it put together. Okay, well, I got the brake lines all connected and routed. Had to do a little modifying on those two right there, but uh, the rest of it looks good. I'll get the master cylinder hooked up eventually, but it's back on wheels. Uh, well, that's Taking a while, but uh, it's a rolling chassis once again. I think the paint turned out well. I think the uh, rear end looks good. Uh, hopefully the calipers all work the way they're supposed to. Um, I'll have to run air brake lines once I get the body on it, but uh, overall, uh, a fair amount of work just to get to it down to this point so I'm uh, I'm very happy next next on the list is going to be the engine so this will now uh, uh, get totally broke down I'll see what I can do with the block uh, I definitely won't be reusing the intake probably not the heads um, but that's another chapter so for now I'm I'm happy uh, back on wheels and everything kind of picked up so uh, that's a good feeling thanks for watching